Yeah, I word around town is a popping now. Hey yo, what is up everybody? This is the King Hitman here, and today we have the easy A's for the part two set of the seven year anniversary. The easy A's that are you know they're on their way i don't know when exactly i'm gonna drop this but i am gonna record it a couple of days in advance we haven't even gotten the part two celebration news on global as far as i've seen even though it'll be pretty much exactly the same unless they announce what that new event is gonna be that's gonna be global first or global exclusive something like that let's just focus on what we have in hand now of course we know all four of these guys are getting their easy i'm gonna go through them step by step but most important well most notably more notably the three-year fusions are going to get their easy A's about, I think, 12 days after these guys drop. Is it? Yeah, about 12 days. The three-year fusion, the Vegito and Gogeta will get their awakenings. However, let's just focus on that in another video. I'll probably do these four right here. And then maybe I'll do the free-to-play units, like the couples and then the three boys in their own video. And then I'll do like the four-year and three-year LR easy A's in their own video. Who knows how I'll cut it up. All right, we'll figure it out. But for now, let's focus on Super Saiyan God Goku, the God's effortless controlling aura. This guy is one of the best units in the game. And no, I don't mean like a top 10 unit, even though he looks like a top 10 unit when there's a movie boss in front of him, right? I just mean like he's a really high caliber of unit. Like he's a very valuable. A lot of you guys will have him. If you don't have him, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I am sorry if you're a veteran that can't manage to pull this guy because he'll be very valuable for the red zone versus the movie boss stages right so him versus like agl broly and you know i'm turtles is easy right but like say super seven or super excuse me android 13 like super android 13 those types of things fused android 13 i mean he'll be one of the most valuable units like it's him and then of course you know he goes well with the the gods i didn't get to manage to pull the gods so that you know that sucks for the kid but he goes so well with them if you can manage, you know, summoning the LR gods or finding a way to fit teams centered around them without having them as your actual leader, using them as a friend, things of that nature. He goes on with them on the one rotation. Why am I stuttering? He goes with them on one rotation and that rotation is very, I mean, high damage, key sufficient, high defense. Like you're going to look good. And then this guy, he can seal, which is more of a super battle road thing you're worried about. I wouldn't say it's too valuable in the red zone, but I don't have the red zone memorized like a lot of players on JP do. So I'm not sure which stages do and don't nullify certain things. But yeah, so this guy, he's just innately valuable. He's rainbow orb changing. You have to make sure he's fighting a movie boss or pure saying, right? Like just because the way... <laughs> He's two completely different units. Like, he's still good without the movie boss pure Saiyan condition. But, bro, let's be honest. When he has that active, he's untouchable. He can do, like, four, five, six million attack stats. He can... He's raising defense on super, even if you weren't fighting that boss of enemy. But he doesn't even need to super to not take that much damage. Like, he's just crazy. He's crazy. He's giving himself three key, which is crazy because he doesn't need to do that either. He has a great link set and prepare for battle and over in a flash. Very bizarre. I don't know what they, I guess they just slapped that on there to make him look a little better. And then his categories, he's on a bunch of, you know, it's a Goku that's a movie hero that's Super Saiyan God. Like, come on, y'all know what he's on. So I'm not going to keep too much on this guy. You guys know a lot of people are actually most excited for him, it seems like, on Global. Maybe because we now understand we're only on the tip of the iceberg for the red zone, right? So we'll, we're tapping in bit by bit. Now we have his counterpart, the Super Saiyan God Vegeta. I always love this this card, this card art, this super attack animation from when the movie celebration had originally dropped on, on JP. I think he's not spoken about enough, but I also understand why. Now let's go through his passive. He gives himself also three key attack and defense 150%. High chance of guarding all attacks. That's crucial, but it can also get you killed if it doesn't proc, right? He will get an additional 77% attack and defense for three turns after he has been hit, a medium chance of launching an additional super attack, and a great chance of stunning the enemy when it's a movie boss of Pure Saiyan. Now, that part of his passive is really just, it's not, it's not helpful. I, I don't, it's not that it's worthless, but come on, man. Like, how often are you really going to be able to take advantage of that? If you were to ask me, you can in the early phases of certain red zone stages, but bro, let's be a buck. God Goku is definitely better than this Vegeta, but this Vegeta is still really good. He's greatly raising attack on super attack, lowering defenses, whatever. 
but he's just he's really valuable he doesn't get spoken about enough i want to see him in action for myself i have both of these guys rainbowed and link level 10 so i'm very ready to get into it his link set is slightly worse only because he doesn't have prepare for battle they swapped that out for i think prodigies yeah for prodigies i hate that for him i really think it does bother him but before he easy is because before he easy is the three key is there but it affects his partners so let's say you have him linked up with i don't know evolution blue agl vegeta he's not getting prepared for battle if he's in slot one and this guy's in slot two breaking that bridge right so it sucks in those regards but he's very key sufficient among himself you don't have to worry about that but he, he just he's an rng defensive unit i don't think he's bad though i think he gets more flack than he deserves but the god goku's just in such a high regard among the community i get why this guy doesn't get spoken about now we have the easy a i think i'm most excited for but that's because he was for a very long time my favorite tur yes i know all the trauma that comes with this guy to be released i feel like when i say that some global players a lot of the veteran global players catch chills or some shit like you guys you you guys know what it was like back then if you played during that time so i did pull him off his initial banner he he just i had him with no leader skill like that back then was crazy so he had all of his let's go with controversy right he had all of his controversy for better or worse but he's now easy aing he's going to be great like he's a top 10 easy a uh, tur i i think you guys will see what i mean now attack and defense 150 percent he reduces extreme class attack and defense uh enemies attack and defense by 20 percent high chance of attacks being super effective against all types i don't know why they did that they could have just made it guaranteed his attack without it is not it's not bad at all right but you could have given it to him and he just he it wouldn't like break him right like it's not absurd to say i want to make him super effective all the time very bizarre he gets an additional 25 percent attack and defense for five turns with each super attack performed up to 50 percent so you got to make sure you do give him his additionals he loves that greatly raising defense on super attack along with attack he wants it anyway like he merits it and then you know super effective type units you always want to lean towards that instead of crit now finally he has a great chance and most importantly in a lot of cases he has a great chance of evading the enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power monster so you're going to be able to have that save you a couple of times save your hiney a couple of times right it'll be very valuable very I clutch I guess is the word I should use so you'll be able to take advantage of that in these red zone stages too I do as far as I can tell he seems red zone viable I've never heard anybody really blame him for dying but the only time you'd really be concerned with him I guess is when the enemy cancels dodge because he can't use his counter in those situations right link set is it's insane I would argue that if he wasn't a super saiyan 4 this would be one of the best link sets in the game Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Over in a Flash, Fused Fighter, GT, and Fierce Battle. Now, why did I specify Super Saiyan 4? Because he doesn't get Saiyan Roar. And the 7-year LR has Saiyan Roar. You know, the LR 4-year EZAs have Saiyan Roar. Um, who am I missing? I'm missing somebody, aren't I? Oh, the, the EZAs, the TUR, Super Saiyan 4 EZAs have Saiyan Roar, among other things, right? So, it, he... He takes away from his teammates by not having that link set. But back then, we all understood why. Like, we hated it. Don't get me wrong that he didn't have that link. But we understood what link were you going to kick off. You can't kick off any of these links. And so what they did with the 7-year LRs is they made it so that he had the exact same link he had as Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta. Therefore, foregoing Fused Fighter. That was very smart of them, by the way. It was for the much better. Categories, he's on a bunch of them, right? Now, this is where, for him, I'd say he's one up on Omega. Because Omega has a crazy shortage of viable teams. Not teams at all, just viable teams. He He's just... He's a peculiar card, right? I just, ah, I, he, you know, Texan is one of, he's a top five banner unit, that Texan Shinron. He's so good, but this guy being his partner and that guy being this guy's partner, you don't know exactly where you can use them. They don't have a 200% lead yet. Like, it's just, it, it sucks. And I feel like Omega Shinron and all the other Shinron, like the, 
the shadow dragons they should be on uh, artificial life forms they're not real like quote unquote real right like they're not living they're not naturally born organisms like you get what I'm saying right so you could argue they should be on artificial life forms I felt as though they should be but whatever right whatever whatever look like if babies on there and I completely understand why babies on there I feel like Omega Shenron and the other Shadow Gen Nova and Sin and all those things should be on there that's just me that's just me let me get off that tangent now his leader skill is valuable I will say because that's if you're running him that's probably where you're running him at Shadow Dragon Saga 3 key stats 70% super attack raises defense and he can multiple super attacks so you do want to give him crit you don't want to give this guy additional because you guys know how it is the more attacks you do in that turn the more chances you have to trigger that additional so raises defense for one turn immense damage and greatly lowers defense passive skill the negative energy of evil attack and defense 150 percent he reduces all enemies attack and defense by 20 percent he gives himself build up upon each attack done up to 70 percent and he launches an additional that has a 30 percent chance of becoming a super attack now jp is doing an update by the way where It'll probably be out by the time I release this video, but they're uh, they're fixing the wording. So instead of medium chance, they're going to specify 30. Why does it keep glitching? I love the Dokkan Wiki, but come on, you stressing me out. The, this medium chance wording right here is going to update to like be 30% or I guess 50%, like 70% if it's a great chance. Those type of things. Very uh, interesting. I feel like they're probably going to start introducing maybe like 40% chance to dodge more often or like... 66 percent chance to dodge if you're like a goku black like the go we expect an lr merge zamasu to come in part two right for tanabato on jp at the time of this recording we don't know what he does or anything like that we don't even know if he's actually going to be merged zamasu we're just assuming right this omega shinron will have a 30 percent uh wording in his passive but for all we know that merge zamasu might have like 77 percent in his passive we'll have to see time will tell right but that's why it seems like they're going to specify that wording maybe to confuse less people but yeah back to omega here he's a really good unit that can do really good attack stats and hold his own defensively for sure and in super battle road this is very valuable because you don't have to fight a super class enemy or anything of that sort gogeta does not have that benefit i don't know why they didn't just make it everybody i feel like they should have but whatever categories like i said you know they're not trash teams through and through they're just not coveted teams for the way he's built shadow dragon saga full power inhuman deeds power absorption gt bosses and battle of fate i don't know how what team you could slip them on to i mean what would you even do i guess like a baby could be you know gt bosses and battle of fate and then what like inhuman deeds gets the extra 30 percent like maybe you could do something like that i i don't know bro i don't know how you get omega shinron and sin shinron onto and i don't even think sin is on battle of fate is he let me see this and then i'll wrap the video up i've been talking this whole time but that's why i had to make sure i grouped them up a certain way the easy a's i'm covering so let's see sin yeah sin's not on battle of fate obviously right for clear reasons so I don't know how you get him and Sin Shinron onto a 200% team anytime soon, man. Time will tell. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed doing it for you. I appreciate your time so much, man. It's the Young Hitman, and I'm off this.